Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Today we continue on our fleece study for 2023. Uh, this week we're going to be doing Norwegian Top, which again came from Hearthside Fibers, and this I did pay for out of my own pocket. I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form um, by this company or anybody else for that matter. So, um, interesting thing is there's really not a breed called Norwegian that I could find anywhere. It's not in any of my books. And when I looked it up on the internet, I found this uh, website uh, called uh, Trench Work. And it talks about uh, the Norwegian sheep. And it there's like several of them in here, different breeds. Um, Gamel Norsk Sau, or names that I cannot pronounce. You know, I, I'm sorry, you probably won't be able to see this. But uh, here's like some, uh, a picture of a Gamel, Gamel Norsk so I cannot pronounce that. Anyways, that's what that particular sheep looks like. Um, yeah, it's one of these words. It's got letters that aren't in the normal English language with the A and E that are smooshed together, which I don't know how to pronounce. Spalesu, uh, Grotrund. Oh, I cannot pronounce these, and, and I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher somebody's language. Uh, but there's like um, five, six, seven, eight, eight different breeds of Norwegian sheep here. And unfortunately, um, all we have to really go off of is what's on the little card that came with our sample. So that's what we're going to be going with. So I unfortunately I have nothing to read to you from any book. Um, and this is just way too long to try to read any of that without me uh, tripping over my tongue, trying to pronounce these words with letters that I don't know how to pronounce. So, let's take a look at the fiber here. Uh, this says uh, Breed Origins Norway, of course, from Nor Norwegian, I would assume so. 33 to 36 microns. Staple length is 80 to 120 millimeters or 3 to 5 inches. Okay, so uh, let's uh, pull this out, take a look at it. Um, I'm Again, I don't know if this is a uh, multi-coated fleece, if it's one that's, you know, got a outer coat and an inner coat. Um, it does feel nice and soft and kind of s silky. It's got a nice feel to it. I don't know. I think that would be next to skin soft. I guess we'll, we'll have to see what it looks like when we're finished spinning it. So, um, doesn't look like a lot of crimp. Let me go ahead and pull off a piece there and then pull off another one here just to make sure. All right. Let's see. About, yeah, this one's about five and a half inches for the staple length, so that's it's actually pretty decent. Um, I'm going to write that down real quick before I forget. Five and a half inches. Um, so I'm going to process this like I've been doing with everything else. A uh, short back draw. I'm going to be doing a chain ply just because it's easier on me since I really only have a couple of empty bobbins available to me at the, at the time. The other ones are, are filled up with some of my Romney. So uh, let me get my wheel set up and then we'll uh, spin this and see what we think of it.
Okay, it's the next day. The yarn has been wet finished and hung up to dry. And this is our finished yarn here. Um, we got about 34 yards. It's about an 8 wraps for inch yarn weight. Um, you can see that it does have a bit of drape to it. So I think that's pretty good. A little bit of stretch, not a whole heck of a lot. Um, it is squishy. Not as squishy as some others, but really nice um, finished fiber. Now, um, some things on it. Uh, it it drafted beautifully, um, very easily, at least with this prep. Um, there it was a fair amount of camp in it, so be aware of that. So it might be a little scratchy for some people, but it's, it's overall fairly soft in my opinion. But yeah, there's a little bit of prickle in there, so... Yeah, I mean, if you want to go through and like pick pick that stuff out, you you could, but uh, I don't know. And again, without knowing the exact breed of sheep, it's just as Norwegian. But again, as we saw, there were like eight different sheep breeds in Norway that uh, this possibly could have been, or it could be a mixture of all of them. So if you got Norwegian, it may not be the exact same stuff that we're spinning here today. But out of this, it was actually a decent spin. Um, I don't know what I would use it for. Um, but uh, yeah, I would definitely spin it again if I had more of it. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to purchase it. Um, unless I had something specific in mind. But it, it was a nice spin. And it was really easy. And I think it would be something that would be good for a beginner to practice with as well. So, no problems there. So, that's that. Um, next week, we're going to be doing Texel. Um, I've never spun that before, so that ought to be an interesting spin as well. So, until next time, happy crafting!